gather everywhere. <laughs> White Hills have broken through, and the rest of their forces are closing in. We need reinforcements at the gate. Have you seen Mother? Why are Where you? Is she? Have you seen Mother? No one knows Get where she is. Now! <laughs> My lord, your command. You heard your lord! Retake the gate! Now this is the war I shall come.
Marco. My son. What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives. Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason. To protect the North Grove. Winter is coming. And we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how his forester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. 
It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. I will respect Lord Gregor's dying words. The North Grove will never be lost while we breathe. We will defend it. House Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Wise. With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. She didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. And then, after that whole business with Tyrion, I thought she knew how to stay loyal when it mattered. And then that letter she forged to Elena Glenmore. As if I wouldn't find out. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened, the gods know what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Top. I thought I could trust in him, Sam. But I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger, and it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the Watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff White till beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own blade. But then, he jabbed out that fourthborn's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. I was rather starting to like him. And then I thought, let's play again. That's when the fun really started. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rather earnest, I suppose. But he had heart, fighting with a former slave by his side. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. And... He impressed me. 
He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, he earned my help and my respect. I wish I could have done more for him. Perhaps if I had, things would have turned out differently. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I don't know if Mira ever understood that, Grandmother. I know she told me the truth about Sarah, but she also broke a promise to Sarah to keep a secret. In the end, I respect that she was willing to do whatever it took to get what she wanted. But at what cost? Roderick. I could have told him this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. His brother dead, his mother dead, <laughs> his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They fought hard, I'll give them that. But they were too bold, defiant when they should have been smart. Ruthless instead of shrewd. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. Roderick? We haven't much time. 